The methods used to create a lesion in the brain and improve the motor symptoms of Parkinson's disease are called lesioning procedures. They can be performed in one of two ways, conventionally or using MRI-guided focused ultrasound, FUS for short. The brain targets in lesioning procedures include the VIM and the GPI. A lesion in the VIM, known as a thalamotomy, improves medication-resistant tremors, but it doesn't help bradykinesia, dyskinesia, or motor fluctuations. Creating a lesion in the GPI, known as a pallidotomy, improves dyskinesia and motor fluctuations, in addition to the major motor symptoms of tremor, rigidity, and bradykinesia. Lesioning procedures, performed conventionally, use standard stereotactic surgical techniques to first locate the brain target. This part is identical to what happens in a DBS procedure. A stereotactic frame is fixed to the patient's head, a scalp incision is made, and a burr hole is created. Then, using standard electrophysiologic techniques, the exact target is located before using radio frequency to make a lesion. The biggest drawback for conventional procedures is the high risk of side effects that can be permanent. For unilateral lesions, a slightly off-target lesion may result in contralateral weakness or numbness. Most patients with Parkinson's disease need bilateral treatment because symptoms affect both sides of the body, but bilateral thalamotomies or pallidotomies carry a high risk of speech and swallowing difficulties. So conventional lesioning procedures have been replaced by DBS because the risks of permanent side effects is lower. The risks of speech and swallowing impairment are also much lower with bilateral DBS. MRI-guided focused ultrasound is a newer, minimally invasive method to make a lesion in the deep part of the brain. It's been marketed as non-invasive, because it doesn't require surgical incisions, but it's important to note that brain tissue is destroyed. Patients undergoing this procedure will have their head shaved and then lie down in the MRI machine wearing an ultrasound helmet. MRI is used to visualize the target, and the helmet focuses over 1,000 ultrasound beams to that target. Initially, low-level energy is used to confirm the target. Once the target is confirmed, short bursts of higher level energy are given to make a lesion. After each short burst of energy, patients are pulled out of the MRI machine to test their tremor. Multiple repeated bursts of energy may be necessary to treat the tremor. Unilateral thalamotomy with MRI-guided focused ultrasound has received regulatory approval in multiple countries to treat medication-resistant tremors in Parkinson's disease. In the U.S., Unilateral pallidotomy with MRI-guided focused ultrasound has also been approved to treat dyskinesia and motor symptoms. Because no surgical incisions are required, MRI-guided focused ultrasound has emerged as the main method to perform a lesioning procedure. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how Met Mastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About Met Mastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.